Hey everybody, Dr. Lisa Thompson here of DrLisaMThompson.com coming to you live from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. And welcome to another edition of The Doctor Is In. So excited to be here on this Tuesday, November 1st. I can't believe how time is flying by here. It just seemed like we just started the month of October. But I'm really excited to have you on today's show. And as we wait for people to hop on, what I want you to do, if you haven't done so already, click on the upper right-hand corner of your screen. You're going to see a notification button. When you hit that notification button, Facebook is going to let you know when I'm going live with the Doctor Is In show, which is always Monday through Friday, 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central, 1.30 Pacific. And if you forget the time, what Facebook will do is they'll send you a notification. That way you and I can interact in real time and I can be available to answer any questions that you have. Today's show, we're going to focus on two simple ways to do video if you are camera shy. All right. This really resonates with me because, yep, I was camera shy, too. You, you know, for those that know me and knew me growing, growing up, I was a very camera shy. I hated having my picture taken. I hated being on video. I just didn't like the way I looked, the way I sounded. And when I had to have a picture taken, I always stood in the periphery trying to hide behind someone or something. You know, and it, that came from just having, like, poor self-confidence. Well, if you guys are doing video, or if you're not doing video in your marketing, you have to, because next to talking to somebody face-to-face, -face, video is the most effective way to build rapport with your audience. Today, people are really jaded when it comes to seeing if somebody's real or not. There's a sense of cynicism. So people are wondering, you know, when they look at your social media profiles and your blog, if that is really you. And that's why you can't be hiding behind your pets, your cars, your house, your sport mascot team, you know. You want to show you, okay, because... People do business with those who they know, like, and trust. You've heard me say it over and over again. So, how did I get over this camera shyness? Well, I have to give a shout out to one person who really helped me with it. And she revealed these two simple strategies to me. And that is Diane Hockman. Okay? Diane taught me how to do simple videos. This was back three years ago in 2013 when I first... Uh, start, when I first learned about what was called attraction marketing, where you're leading with value, you find a market, what that's in pain, and then you're going to go and solve problems for that market that's in pain, and they in turn are going to want to get on your list. So what Diane taught me to do, okay, sorry guys, that my connection's kind of getting a little weak here, is what I learned to do was... She shared two simple ways. Now, I was really camera shy, and I was afraid to put my picture out there, and even to hear my voice. But what Diane said is she, she gave me two tips. She said, the first video I want you to do is I want you to get some screen capture software. And she said, you know, and the one that I use still, um, and it's free. There's a free version and a paid version, and it's called Screencast-O-Matic. Screencastomatic.com, screencastomatic.com. And with Screencastomatic, what that does is the free version allows you to um, record, I believe, up to a 10, 10 minutes. And then you can get um, the paid version, and it's very inexpensive. You can pay it up for three years, and then you can record up to about an hour. Um, of a uh, screen capture. <coughs> Excuse me. So what Diane taught me to do, and remember if you watched yesterday's show, I taught you the four-step storytelling formula. And Diane told me just to take a screenshot of a lead capture page of a training. Get the story of a successful person in your affiliate company, all right, and share that story. And the person that I chose, and I, I remember this plain as day, I chose a training to give people to stay out of Facebook jail 
that was um, done by another good friend of mine, Michelle Pesco Salito, who's a Facebook marketing expert. And so she was teaching some strategies how to stay out of Facebook jail by not spamming your links everywhere. That's the surest way to get into Facebook jail, as well as some other really neat Facebook interaction strategies. And so all I did is I took a screen cap. I just put my um, use Screencast-O-Matic, and I just showed the lead capture page, and I did the 45 second, or you know, it was about 45 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds for that video doing the four-step storytelling formula. And I watched it, and I had to get over hearing myself talk, and um, I really liked it, you know, and I wound up sharing that. I put it on YouTube, and then be, and at that time, because Facebook didn't allow um, uploads directly to Facebook, I had to use my YouTube link. I wound up, that first week after putting that out there, I wound up generating, I believe, about 10 leads for my business using video, and then I was hooked. And so then Diane gave me another assignment on my comfort zone. She said, I want you to do another uh, video. You know, you're going to still use the screen share or the screencast o but this time you're going to teach somebody how to do something. You can either do it through a PowerPoint presentation or you can walk them through how to do something simple on Facebook or something on YouTube. And all you're going to do is share the screen and then you're going to do an um, intro question and then you're going to tell them what the purpose of the video is, show them how to do it, and then a call to action to opt into another training. So I remembered doing my second video, and that was how to uh, get people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. So it was something that I learned, and I went in and did it. And it, it was about maybe a four to five minute video. And I wound up getting leads from that. But the point is, is when I did these two types I started to get more comfortable. Good morning, Ronnie. Ronnie's awesome. You guys have to go follow Ronnie. I got to give her a shout out because she did her very first Facebook Live video last week. If you're not following her on Facebook, please go do so. She's deaf and did a Facebook Live and it went viral. She had over 3,100 comments on her video and I think over 100 comments, um, 3,100 video views and 100 comments on her Facebook video, <coughs> excuse me, which is, you know, for, you know, it was about, I think, 75, 80 seconds, but it was absolutely amazing. So she deserves a shout out on this show because of what she did. You know, that is just absolutely amazing um, and stepping out of your comfort zone. But when I started, doing, you know, I was really scared, but I began to get more comfortable with it. And then I began to put myself in it doing the four-step storytelling formula and I wound up getting more confidence what's really great today you can still use these two simple methods that I just outlined to you that Diane taught me number one just take a picture of um, the lead capture page have a screenshot up and then you just talk all right and do that four-step storytelling formula all right that should take you about 30 to 45 seconds to do and you can get some leads this way the other way to do it is do a quick two to three minute video showing people how to do something on, uh, you know, on, uh, helping them solve a problem, a how-to tutorial. Or you can do um, a PowerPoint presentation outlining some key tips. This is very powerful. And today you can do short little videos that can get people's attention and you don't have to do all of the selling. You just get them curious enough that they can go and they can learn either, you know, something you did or you can point them to a leader in your company that can do the training. So it's a very, very powerful to do this. So I suggest if you haven't done video yet, please start doing it and use these two simple tips. This is a great way to get out of your comfort zone and the more you do it hey Teresa glad to have you on the show today and the more you do it the better you're gonna get the more confidence you're gonna get you know it, it's just gonna be awesome today I am addicted to video I love video I mean and the fact that I'm out here doing a Facebook live right now I never imagined this three years ago 
But that's what happens when you practice. And if I never did video, I would still be struggling in my business today. Right now, I've generated over 3,000 leads just doing video alone. Okay? That's a big number. And it continues to grow because I'm taking action. I'm going to end this with a real quick, um, just want to give you a little bit of word of encouragement about the success cycle. Okay, in anything that you do, there's a success, cy success cycle, and it goes like this. Success builds confidence. Confidence creates activity. Activity creates more results, and results create more success, which in turn creates more confidence. So you just have to start taking action and celebrate when you have done something, if you've never done a video before, shout it out from the rooftops. If you've done a new way of doing a video, shout it out and keep doing it. You're going to get better if you do the right things long enough consistently. When you do a video a day, I challenge you, start doing a video to a day starting today, November 1st, and then look um, on November 30th. You can look back and you can see the changes that have happened. I remembered I went back and I looked at that very first Facebook video I did um, where I did what Diane told me to do with that staying out of Facebook jail. And I remembered hearing my voice. It sounded really nervous. You know, I was talking a little bit fast. But now when you look at me and when I watch my videos, I mean, I, I, I've changed. I can hear a different tonality. It's more confident. It's more competent. Um, I don't care if I stumble, make a mistake, cough, or sneeze. It, it's just part of how that is. It makes it more real and authentic. And that's why I really love uh, Facebook Lives. And I'm glad that this live streaming is now available, not only on Facebook, but Periscope and YouTube, YouTube and uh, Twitter. So that's a really cool thing. Now, I want to end this video today by giving you a heads up on a very special webinar training tomorrow night. It's a video marketing webinar done by my really good friend, Mark Herbert. He's a video marketing expert. Now, Diane taught me the mindset with doing great video to get my confidence built up. Mark is the nuts and bolts guy, which taught me how to really take my video marketing and applying really simple tweaks to uh, make sure it's getting in front of a lot more people and it's really polishes it off you know and I used to think that video marketing you know and doing videos would take a lot of time and you know production and Mark is the king of simple and he puts things down in such a really um, easy digestible way to understand and he's doing a real cool webinar. I had the privilege of seeing this training ahead of time because I'm in one of his mastermind groups on video. And he revealed this real simple technique of how he was able to, in one week, to generate over 261 leads using a 45-second Facebook video. All right? And he, uses, and he used it with Facebook uh, ads. Hi, Kenneth. Glad to have you on the show today. And what this does, okay, he, I'll, I saw how he did this. And I'm going to give you a little quick preview of what this 45-second video is. It's doing a PowerPoint, all right? It's doing a PowerPoint and doing it in such a creative way. And he's going to give you the exact script that he used and how he was able to get 261 leaves. It's absolutely stunning. And he's going to reveal that tomorrow night to the general public, okay, exactly how he does this. And if you're really looking to get an edge on your video marketing, maybe you have on your blog a branded giveaway, or you want to give away someone else's training, this is going to be absolutely perfect for you. And especially if you're camera shy, this is a great way to really explode onto the scene with video marketing. So to register for this webinar, what I want you to do, I'm going to give you the name of the webinar link. All right, so get out a pad of paper and a pen and write this down. It is webinar.drlisamthompson.com. Webinar.drlisamthompson.com. Webinar. .drlisamthompson .com. webinar 
dot drlisamthompson.com. Fill in the information you see on that registration page and make sure you arrive 15 to 30 minutes early because a lot of people, video marketing is hot. Facebook marketing is really the rage. And if you know how to get, do video, and especially in a 45 seconds, you're going to really see results. And a lot of people I know are going to be hopping on this. I've been seeing people excited, pumped up. I'm going to be there tomorrow night, and I'm going to be there 15 minutes early. And if you're coming, please let me know. Follow me on Facebook and send me a Facebook message telling me you're coming. That way I can be available during the training to answer any questions that you have. So with that said, enjoy your Tuesday, and make sure you tune in tomorrow for another great episode of The Doctor Is In. Have a great day, everybody.